Yo, 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 what's happening guys? I'm back again. Another day, another video. And yes, we got our um, pre-order rewards. I haven't opened a one, um, Inform or Team of the Week pack. I'm going to hold out till this week. Just in case if there is someone better. But we did spend 150 points, or FIFA points so far. And we packed ourselves Marcus Lorente. And by the looks of things, my luck is actually on companion app rather than actual game. So yeah, we got him. Let's have a look. 3 star, 4 star. I'm alright with that. High medium. Really happy with that. 88 pace. 80 shooting, 81 passing, 82 dribbling, 78 defensing, and 82 physical. Really, really good card. And when we look in details, pretty, pretty solid stats. Not gonna lie. And he has speed dribbler. So that's the team we'll rock up. We do have Lorries there as well. And uh, yeah, we'll go in the game and have a look how well Marcos Lorente can do. As you can see at the top, 4,450 will jump in the rivals. Not gonna lie, but I've been struggling. Um, my boy PNT said go wide. Uh, like for me, it's always two strikers. I don't really like the right mid, left mid sort of thing. But I done it, guys. I done it. Um, we're facing Rich Allison, Timo, um, Saul, Koke, Zayic, and some other players. I don't really care about them. I think Saul, uh, not Saul, um, Lorente is there. Let's pass to Lorente. Let's see what he can do on the ball. Ooh, nice. Definitely is PD dribbler because you could feel it straight away. It's really nice. My biggest question now for you guys, anyone who's watching, is will, should I keep him or sell? I do want to kind of move back to Prem. Um, Prem squad, I do want to buy Havertz, I do want to buy Timo, Havertz maybe not so much, but Timo definitely, and I know this game is not, or this FIFA is not about pace, but I still want to get Timo, let's go, let's go, let's go Vardy, Jamie Vardy, finally, nice pass, didn't really see who passed it, but solid pass through the middle, and Jamie Vardy scores, one thing what I hate about these stadium customizations is these stupid colors when people make. Come on, Thiago. Inaki, let's go 2-0. I don't know, maybe I should record more games. Because um, other than this, obviously it's only 2-0. Oh, nice interception by Lorente. And he, the pass should never been to him anyways. But what I was going to say is I've been struggling struggling a lot and uh, yeah obviously this game is going well pretty well so far um, no skill well I tried to do skill but didn't work I kind of would like Laurenti to be maybe cam so he would be more involved I guess but my other player is Thiago from Liverpool and he's not the quickest he only has what 60 something pace i do want to see how he crosses because obviously this game um the amount of goals i've conceded from the crosses is just a joke guys so oh what a save well i should say close call to be honest too eager lorente too eager but 140k is very very nice i say i'm just debating whether i should keep sell what to do whether his price will go up, I can't see that happening. Maybe let's have a look. Half time 2 0. We're leading Vardy and Williams in Naki Williams' hood. Let's have a look at half time stats and we'll jump in the second one. But we'll, we'll make the move. Oh, I didn't actually have a look at the stats, so let's have a look. Stat wise, he had more shots, possession he had more, uh, passing as well, tackling more, um, tackles one more as well. Uh, we had more interception and more of size free kick wow okay so he seems to be a having a better all-around shot accuracy is shocking though um 20 percent against our 100 so you know there's no point to shoot if you're not going to make it right um but let's move thiago is kind of tired i will bring pepe in on the right so lorente is now down the middle 
And let's have a look what else he can he can do. Second half is on its way. And I can't wait to see what I might have to come back to Spanish league because we got the young and we got Inaki. Um well we got Inaki obviously, but we got Lorente and the young now. That's two incredible midfielders already. Oh Lorente, I do like you. And Jamie Vardy couldn't couldn't make it 3-0. Well, we move the game is much better and it seems to be going our way until I said that and Loris what a keeper honestly if you need a keeper go get Mendy old this Loris um, once again we got him from um, the gold upgrade and he's absolutely saving everything at the moment oh Lorente I thought you had the that vision there you go so we've got 20 minutes left um we still need to hold out for this 2-1 lead ideally we need to score one goal um but we'll see what can we do we did make some changes so maybe they'll help me oh what a pass to illicit oh no lorente with that beautiful pass lorente free ball to inaki williams inaki williams shoot and misses I honestly thought that was a goal. Can we? Oh, and we closed out. Absolute sensational player, Marcos Lorente. Although some of the passes didn't reach the players, he was everywhere. I do want to see the heat map as well, um, but the guy was honestly everywhere. The passes, obviously, he had more chances, but um, you know the teammates didn't make it. And let's have a look. So. He's only 6.8, but he covered the most of the pitch, 15.4 kilometers out of 10.1 on average, and he sprinted 8.9 over average of 3.9. I say absolute amazing passes, 65%, had 17 passes, um, triples 19, 79% as well. One offside, two possessions won, five of them lost. Played obviously the whole game, but as I said, he was sensational. Still don't know where I would have to play him, whether it's CDM, CM, Cam. Definitely not a right mid, but I did like how he moved. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know down below if you tried him. If you haven't tried him, let me know if you're going to try him or you plan to buy him. I'm still debating whether I want to sell him or keep him. I'll need to find out what sort of team I can build around it. And I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Peace out.